So let's begin with my first guest, blogger Juan Morodio. Juan, glad to have you here. Yeah, thank you for having me here for one more year. So we are so glad that you're here to uh, tell us a little bit about your experiences so far. Are there some things that have stuck out from uh, global forums in the past, uh, things that, uh, you, that have stuck out for you from last year's global forum? Yeah, I have uh, a lot of good memories from the last global forum. I remember Ariana Huffington conference. Yes. It was so powerful, so emotional, and the way that she built her companies and how she did it. And I remember a conference of Brian Solis. So he talked about the importance of unique experience in the customer journey. Definitely. So, all right, first impressions of this year's edition. What have, what's been meaningful to you? Well, so far, so good. Uh, the context is amazing inside the Disney Park. And the conference that I was be able to attend, really, really interesting. Oh, good. Um, and you enjoyed hearing uh, Captain Sullenberger yes. speak. Yes, because he's, oh, he's a, a hero. And his experience, how he talked, and yeah, and, and what, she, what he did, well, it's, it's awesome. Amazing. So yeah. what do you hope to learn this year? Well, I... I want to learn a lot about marketing and analytics, how to connect these two worlds, because mm -hmm. marketing and IT in a lot of companies are divided. Sure. But I, I have a, I'm so excited to see the Chris Hedgefield's conference presentation, is, uh, because when, when I was a, a child, I wanted to be an astronaut. Oh. So for me, he's a very admirable person, and well, it's something that I... I want to hear him. Yeah, he'll be really powerful. And, yeah, and that's uh, on Wednesday, I guess, we'll, we'll hear from Chris Hatfield, the, the astronaut. So, so as we're going to find out, analytics uh, can be applied to any business pain, even on areas that we never imagined. Uh, for example, Anthony Perez from the Orlando Magic basketball team will present how they optimize fan engagement using SaaS. Do you think that we're reaching a new age in which companies are positioning analytics in the center of their business strategy? Absolutely. In my opinion, companies are more conscious about not just the importance of analytics or collating data. So how to be proactively using this data and because of that they have to put or to, to position analytics as a business core mm -hmm. and take out insights and use these insights to take action in a smarter way. Right, and if you don't, your competitors will. Yeah. <laughs> right. So, you know, it's clear that analytics is, is key to knowing your customers better. Um, as a marketing expert, uh, what is your advice to make marketers understand how analytics can improve the ROI of marketing campaigns? Oh, my mantra is, if you cannot measure it, you cannot improve it. Hmm. So, we have to pass from, uh, from having a hunch in marketing to scientific marketing. Mm -hmm. I think it's very, very uh, important. It's not about deeper. So it's about width. No, sorry, it's not about width, it's about depth. Mm -hmm. So you have to work on micro niches mm -hmm. and use micro marketing to focus on your potential customers and use analytics to analyze the results and optimize it. I'm going to coin that, or have you coin that phrase, and I'm going to put it out there on social media. If you can't measure it, you can't improve it. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so tell us about analytics and its application uh, in marketing departments. Which industries are, are taking more advantage of analytics? Well, I think uh, tourism and banking has a lot of opportunities, mm -hmm. and most of them are wonder how can they use the huge amount of data that they have today. And I think companies like SaaS do a really good job to support them. Great. So do you see a difference when you compare Spain to other countries? Yes. I think Spain, or most of the companies in Spain, they know the importance of analytics, but they are trying to figure out how can they use this data, all this data, and implement to take smarter decisions in the real life at real time. So you're quite an influential blogger, I will say. Can you tell us about your blog's evolution? Oh, I'm very happy because my blog turned eight years old. Okay. And two months ago, I launched a new project based on content. It's a daily vlog on my YouTube channel. Oh, great. Yeah, okay. I upload one video per day. Uh, sharing my work, uh, work day, mm -hmm. 
-hmm. and for professional and entrepreneurs that they want to be more successful in their businesses. That sounds very cool. I'll have to check that out. So, yeah. so what kind of projects are you undertaking in 2017? Well, I have been living in Toronto for one year and a half, and I'm setting up new projects uh, then, there for Canadian and United States market. And I'm so excited about that because it's a new market for me, and I'm learning a lot, and I'm meet a lot of interesting people, so it's awesome. And it's awesome what is going on. And a new language in a year and a half. Yeah. Long, you blow my mind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's been really great talking with you today. Thanks so much for taking Thank the time. You. Have a great rest of your conference. Yeah, you too.